Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and today I'm going to be talking about how you can add a single vertex rather than just the shape, a single vertex. I'm also going to be mentioning why you'd bother and briefly talk about an add-on that does it automatically. This is all part of the Quick Tips playlist, so check out that playlist and other playlists in the description for more useful videos and courses. Also, if you like what I do, then try out my new character course. It takes you right from beginner to making a fully fledged character in Blender. Okay, so here I am in the basic scene. And to make a single vertex, we take any object. So in this case, the default cube. If you haven't got an object in your scene, then press Shift A to go to the Add menu. And you've got these objects down here. I'll quickly add another one to show you how it works on any object. I'll just move that across to the side. So on the default cube, into Edit Mode with Tab. And then we need to merge all these vertex together in the center. So we press M to merge. And that's in 2.9, it's now M. If you've got any earlier versions, it might be Alt M. And then we say at center, and there's our single vertex. I can then extrude this out by pressing E and left clicking and build up some shapes and maybe select them all with A and then extrude them this way. And then we've got some cool zigzag thing. I'll go back into object mode and delete that and show you that you can do it on any object. So into edit mode with everything selected, press M, merge at center. And we have that single vertex and we can make lots of vertices. Okay, so I'll undo that. Go back into object mode and press Alt G to move my one single vertex to the center of the grid. And I'll show you an application for this. If I go into edit mode now and press E to extrude and E to extrude and maybe extrude out here, you can see that I'm making some sort of tree. And if you want a more detailed tutorial of this, then check out my how to make a low poly tree video. So we've got these, I can then add modifier skin modifier and it makes a kind of tree combined with the subdivision surface modifier you can see how that's working i can go into each of these vertex and press ctrl a to scale them up and select several at a time and scale them down with ctrl a and you get some sort of funny looking tree there now i did mention there's an add-on for this so you don't need to go through the painful steps of going into edit mode selecting all and pressing m so i'll just go into object mode i'll go up to edit preferences into add-ons and type in extra and there is add mesh extra objects there's some curved ones as well you might want to use that but once you've ticked that and closed it down now when I press shift a to add we've got mesh and we've got this extra object here single vertex and there's a few other really useful ones as well that you might want to take a look at so if I press add single vert I've got a single vertex that I, that I can go into edit mode with and there we go making my objects one last thing you might want to use this for, if I shift A to add mesh single vert, you can use this to create text. So if I press E to extrude and just create a G, we can then select all, go to side view with three on my numpad, E to extrude in the Y, so E then Y, and I've got a letter G. I can then add modifier solidify and then up the thickness and you can see my G there needs a bit of a tidy up also if i press even thickness it'll be even all the way around so there we go that's how to add a single vertex also how to install the add-on and a couple of applications of how you can use it so let me know if you like this format of these quick tips so lastly thanks for watching and i'll see you next time